Hey, what's up guys? Sandeep here and hope you all are doing really well. As promised today in this video, I'm going to share my techno managerial round for Larson and Tibro, where I interviewed for product engineering team as a React developer. Again, it was three plus years of experience. So in my previous video, if you haven't watched, I have already shared my technical round for one hour and I have shared all the question list over there. And today I'll be sharing my techno managerial round and all the set of questions that I've been asked. And it was for the time period of one hour. So the first thing the interviewer generally asked me was what are the like introduce yourself and what are the products that projects I'm currently working on in my current company. So after that, like uh, the second question he asked was like how you fit within the team according to your role. So basically he was asking me about my role within the company and how do I fit within the all over the projects that I'm building my role within these projects. N number third was like explain to me how react js make your current application better so since i uh, said him that i work with react redux and like javascript html css so he was like Ex can you explain me why react js makes you prefer react js and how it makes your application better so if you need to tell on these points number four was like how you de decide on which state management system to use in your app again you can go for redux which is a global if you are thinking to make your application scale at a larger point, you can say we are using like Redux or else you can say you will have your this API, context API, but that is not scalable as such as Redux. So number fifth was like, are you familiar with HTML5? I said, yes, I am familiar with HTML5. Then he countered me with name some most used HTML tags that I've used within my projects. So yeah, this was pretty straightforward question. Like uh, number six was, are you aware of CSS modules and have you worked with SAS before? So I am aware of CSS modules and I also am aware of SAS. So I said a couple of them. He uh, like uh, questioned me or some like, why do we use SAS? How it helps with for the SAS part for the CSS. So yeah, number seven was like, how do you do your folder structure uh, like uh, within your projects? And, uh, and he told me to explicitly share my screen and show me how do I do, let's say you have a component call fix, uh, fix uh, like uh, this, let's say you have a component called search button. Okay. Now for that search button, how will you do your, uh, like uh, you need to make your search button as reusable component. And in a way, how will you do your folder structure for that search button? So generally what I do basically when I'm writing a component, I make a particular folder name for that component and within that folder itself, I make a JS file as well as a CSS file for that. So that is how generally I do my project uh, like folder structure. And that is what I said to the interviewer as well. So number eight was like, how do you handle pressure when working with multiple projects? So this is something you need to explain in your own words, how you are like facing and what, what is you, your way of saying this? I can't explicitly tell you in, in any point. Yeah. Number ninth was like, how do you do error handling on your project? So in react, we do have error boundaries. So you can say different sets of error handling methods that you do. Either you can say error boundaries you do throughout the whole project, or you can say within the set block of code, you use try and catch for every system of error you are doing. So yeah, you can explain it in your own words, how you do in your project. Number 10 was, was like, do you do unit testing of components? Uh, and do you know TypeScript? So I, I said, I know unit testing of components, but I don't do it hardcore because uh, we do have a dedicated tester. I'm not aware of much aware of unit testing. I know basic unit testing and for TypeScript. Yes, I have learned TypeScript. So I said them, yes. So he asked me in TypeScript itself, what is the difference between a type and an interface? Can you explain or are they similar? So this is a question of TypeScript. So I'm not uh, stressing on that point. The 11th was like, how much do you rate yourself in JS? So that is straightforward. 12th was like, can you explain me what is pure function? So yeah, if you know JavaScript, you can explain what is a pure function is. Number 13 is like, can you explain map, filter, reduce methods? Like this, uh, like he was asking me to write down and explain all this like methods that, that, that is generally being used in JavaScript that we mostly use this map, filter, reduce. This we mostly use, right? So that is why the interviewer wanted to ask and like wanted to uh, uh, like sh uh, like wanted to show him basically how do I use it in a code editor. Number fourteen was like what is callback help? Now in this is again it's a JavaScript concept. You need to know if you don't know you can just Google it up. The callback help 
and how it solves and what is the like what is the other way alternative to do it to solve this callback help okay so yeah number 15 was like why do you want to work for lti even though you have good offer so so this is this is this is a self explanatory question you i don't know like basically if 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 a company or an interviewer is asking you directly you will have your own points uh, for me i said my own points um, so that is that i'm not directly saying here why what i said but yeah you can share your own points and make him understand so these are the sets of not much these are the set of questions that have been asked for this lti round for med techno manager it was quite short it, though it was later in one hour it was done within 30 to 40 minutes as well so yeah so this what is guys uh, for this video i hope uh, this will bring a little bit value to your techno manager round kind of thing is not only lti wherever you're interviewing so if you like this video do like subscribe to my channel because i'll be bringing more value content and interviews like this so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe and share this video thank you so much and i wish you have a great day